So would you say we're kind of born with a sense of wisdom, all of us, I guess at different degrees, but a sense of wisdom that, um, that maybe we've, because we talk ourselves out of certain things, how do we access that wisdom back? Okay, good, very good question, actually. And I do believe that. <laughs> I do believe that. I do think that we've all got an inner wisdom, an inner common sense, whatever you want to call it. And all we have to do to access it is we have to allow our crazy, crazy thinking to calm down. And a great example to illustrate how that works is how many times do does someone say to me like, okay, so I can say to clients, when do your best ideas come to you? And they'll say to me, um, oh, when I'm in the shower or when I'm going for a walk or when I'm going for a jog or when I'm on holiday lying on a beach. And what have all those experiences got in common? They've got in common that your mind has settled down. When you go for a walk, your mind settles down, you start looking at nature and then suddenly you've got a bit of room in there. Okay. You have, it's not like a washing machine. It's not going like this. It's like, it's like um, you, remember, you know those snow globes, you know, you shake them and there's particles. But if you rest it down and the particles calm down, it's all clear. Imagine that's your mind and that's what I'm talking about. That's an amazing idea, yeah, way of thinking about it. You're a snow yeah. globe. Because, yeah, you, you shake it up and you've got all this, uh, yeah. all this snow. Yes, we do. And then we just go do something that settles it down. And, and I think for everybody it's different. Yeah, I mean, I walk yeah. nearly every day and I, because that's when I get my ideas and then it just opens it up. I also get it early in the morning. I don't know what that is.